Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Spelunky. So, last time, we got kind of screwed the hell over, quite frankly. Like, uh, I'm not saying we couldn't have avoided dying, we almost certainly could have done, but you must admit, the game really boned me. Hey, we got a boomstick already. I can already tell this is going to be a much better run. I can feel it, goddammit. Holy shit! Okay, you almost died there. That kind of scared the crap out of me. But hey, we did die. We're alive. We have a ton of money. I see a ton more. We have our damsel and we have our boomstick. And that's the most important part. But yeah, like I say, we almost certainly could have avoided dying, but you must admit, pretty much everything just came together exactly perfectly to just screw me over. But you know, it's part of Spelunky. It's one of those games where very rarely are you not going to die. Like, very, very rarely. So it's more a case of how you're going to die and when is it going to happen. So you know, it's one of those things, man, you just expect to die. It just, you know, hopefully it won't happen in quite such a sucky way this time. Because uh, you never know, we might beat the game this time, it's always possible, but it ain't very bloody likely, is it really? As long as we make some progress, and I feel like if we didn't get screwed over with the mind situations the last couple of times, we were on our way to making more progress than we've done before. So you know, as long as there's not complete bullshit like that, I feel like we have a good chance here of, you know, getting further than we have done before. And that's all I want, just get a little bit further each time and eventually, eventually, goddammit, we will achieve the ultimate goal of world domination. How the hell did that snake not kill me? I don't even know, but I'm okay with it. Right, we're up to 15 grand, or you know, close enough. There's a bunch more money over there, kinda tempted to bomb through there. We do only have two bombs, but uh, screw it. You know, let's just hope that we get some more. It's pretty likely at the very least. Hey, we got a ruby out of it as well. Bonus. So we should be up to probably, I'd say about 18 grand, give or take a rough guess. That was a pretty bloody good guess, 18.3K. Bloody good floor. You know, with down three bombs, that's not a good thing. But you know, shotgun, 18.3k, still one bomb left. And most importantly, we got our damsel and didn't take any damage. Bloody good stuff. So now we got to keep our eye out for the agenda. You know, no pun intended, because we definitely, definitely need that thing. I have found the black market before without it, but uh, didn't have any bombs at the time, so couldn't bloody get in there anyway. But yeah, you can see it sometimes because, you know, it's got a lot of foliage around it. So, you know, if it's at the very edge of an area, you might be able to see it, but... Uh, most of the time, hey, we get a pickaxe. Decisions, decisions. I, you know, screw it. At least we can get to the edge and I easily with this, even if we don't keep it for the floor. Might try and just use it as much as we can, and then, you know, grab the shotgun when we leave. But anyway, yeah, about the black market. Sometimes you can see it, but most of the time you're not going to, so it's going to be buried, or at the very least, you're going to be, you know, fighting for your life, not trying not to bloody die. So you might not even notice it, even if it's in plain sight, because, you know, it's all kinds of tiki traps and crazy crap around there. But honestly, I don't necessarily think that the jungle's harder than the mines. I'd say the mines might be the most difficult part, you know, between the mines, the ice caves, and the jungle. The temple's a whole different kettle of fish. Oh, shit! Okay, I thought that was gonna fire at me. Goddamn parachutes, man. But you know, at least it saved me a HP for once it actually put God damn it, stop walking into my pickaxe. You can't go near me when I'm using it. I'm like a lion that's eating. I'm gonna just eat you as well. I saw that in a, in a documentary once. Apparently, if you know an adult lion's eating and the child comes near them, sometimes they eat their kids. That's some fucked up shit. So yeah, in other words, don't come near me when I'm pickaxing. I'm like a bloody eating lion. I'm a dangerous, dangerous man. I really want that idol. We should be able to get it without running into too much trouble, but uh, it's gonna be kind of a difficult situation getting out of there without crushing myself. It shouldn't get the shop. It might though, because you know, it's gonna go along in a straight line for a little bit before it starts crashing through and going lower, so you know, there's the possibility that it's gonna hit the shopkeeper, and I'm not up for that. We're gonna buy the climbing gloves, we're gonna buy the bomb box, and we're gonna buy the ropes. Could buy the, you know, the, uh, the parachute as well. It did save us HP last time, so I gotta give the damn thing credit, but you know, it's not really worth the money, and they are common as hell as well. And it's another one of those items that sometimes it's gonna screw you over, sometimes it's gonna do you favors. You know, for example, the arrow trap, had that not gone off, that could have just gracefully floated me down and got me shot by the bloody thing, whereas normally, I'd just gone splat and still had, you know, the invincibility frames and not taken that extra damage, so it could have got me hit by the arrow trap had it not gone off already. Luckily, it had it done, otherwise we would have been in a shitty position. Right, I think we got pretty much all the gold around here. It sucks that there's not more gems, because you know we have the Urgeni so we can see them now. There's a couple of emeralds around there. I really, really want this idol, but I also really feel like it's a stupid idea. Spider? No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. Right, no, 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 okay. Of course, oh, Jesus Christ, how the hell did that not hit me? I think I pickaxed it on the way down. That was badass, man. It was like a scene from a bloody movie. Right, I'm gonna grab the money. I would like the idol, but you know the ghost is gonna prove a bit of a dick. Where did I leave my shotgun? Shit, screw it, let's just get out of here. Ain't worth the trouble, man. I do not wanna die. 
I love the shotgun, don't get me wrong, I love my boomstick, but uh, you know we're extremely low on money and I didn't want to go back and risk the ghost fucking killing me, which he almost certainly would have done, so uh, you know, that combined with the fact that we have bugger all money, I feel like the pickaxe is a little bit more valuable, you know the shotgun, it's not essential, whereas cash kind of is, because uh, otherwise we'd have to rob the black market and I have never done that successfully so far, so it doesn't seem very likely. Dad, do you have it where you stop falling out the webs? Come on. Yeah, we got that. Oh, come on. What the hell? Finally. At least we're going to get some more cash from this guy. And he gave us double rubies. What a nice guy. That's very handy. And we can get these down here as well. Now, I don't think we're going to alert this little sort of, you know, whatever the hell that guy is in the tomb there. Because uh, I think he only gets alerted if you dig the very blocks around it. So, you know, that little gray section. So we can get everything else we want. I would like to get that gold there as well, but, you know, he's a complete dick. Thank God we got a sapphire. What's in this one? And a ruby. Nice. And we have our damsel as well. So, we should be able to go up here and get the sapphire. And we are already doing so much better on cash. As long as our pickaxe doesn't break anytime soon, we can make bank here. Oh, God damn it. I thought I'd already gone off. Why? <laughs> Why? God damn it, brain. Pay attention. We're going to dig this gold out as well. There's an altar down there. We will sacrifice our damsel. I would like the HP, but you know the Kapala. It's way better than two sacrifices. Like it really is. Unless you're down to one HP or something. Then I do not advise, you know, taking the guy to the exit unless you have no other choice. God damn it, wasted a rope. Not the end of the world, though. There we go. I'm watching you, bat. You're gonna be a complete pain in the dick, aren't you? Get you, bitch. We're gonna grab our damsel, sacrifice him, like I said. Hopefully, get, you know, a jetpack or something like that. No, I think you actually can. At least I've never got one myself. Yeah, da, da, da. Okay, that was scary. I kinda want that ruby as well, but we don't have our pickaxe with us. God damn it. Right, we can get back out here. Might go grab my pickaxe. Right, let's just sacrifice this dude first, then worry about the gems. God damn it. Brain, one thing at once. Okay, spike shoots. Good. Probably the next best thing that we could have gotten besides the climb glass, which we've already gotten. So, you know, I'm okay with that. I guess the cave's good as well, but personally, I think I prefer the spike shoots a little bit. Because, you know, it makes certain enemies in the temple, or, you know, giant Shiloh spider sons of bitches, kind of trivial. Whereas the cape just allows you to float, which can be extremely useful, but, uh... Put it this way, what do I think is more beneficial? What's more likely to save my life? Killing enemies that are extremely hard easily by jumping on their heads? Or just, you know, gracefully floating down? It depends on the situation, obviously, but uh, I think generally speaking, it's much safer to have something that allows you to crush enemies beneath your feet. Okay, my new emerald. Da -da 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 -da. Right, give me that ruby. Yummy! We are down to eight bonds, which is not amazing, but you know, again, it could be a hell of a lot worse. We could potentially get an emerald in there, but okay! This is a shit situation, but we'd have to bomb to that because, you know, you can't use the pickaxe above your head. So, uh, yeah, screw that nonsense. Let's just get the hell out of here. We got a bunch of money, we got a sacrifice, and we got an extra item by way of the glue. It was a good floor. And, you know, we got the, uh, the spike shoes for sacrificing him. So, you know, all in all, pretty damn decent. Holy shit! That is a lot of arrow trap. <laughs> God, that was an awesome chain reaction. It might be worth using a bomb here. Yeah, screw it, we're going to do it. That better get both of them. And, of course, it didn't. God Freaking damn it! Well, screw that nonsense. <laughs> that was very useful. Right, we got a ton of money, and there's another idol down there. Okay, I am gonna grab this one. Hopefully, there isn't a shopkeeper underneath him to, you know, get pissed off and try and blow our tits off. But you know, it's entirely possible. I don't think there's ever a shop on the first floor of the mines, at least not to my recollection. And there almost always seems to be one on the second. Maybe there always is. I don't really know, but uh, yeah, it's just my personal observation. Hopefully there isn't one on this floor, it's not 100% guaranteed, at least I know that, but uh, yeah. At least if it is, it might not be in the way and get, you know, crushed. God damn you, Snake! And get crushed by the boulder, because uh, yeah, then he's going to be pissed off at us and try and kill us. Which I really don't want, but I really, really want this idol. And our pickaxe broke. God damn it, screw this nonsense. Hopefully that allows us to get to the uh, the damsel. Or you know, crush the damsel. Either freaking way. I don't think that's going to do us a favor. Oh, maybe it will. What the hell's the damsel? Okay, she's alive. And we pissed off Carly. God damn it. What a shitty time. I just killed her with the idol. <laughs> I'm sorry. God damn it. Why do I do that all the time? I swear to God. I kill more damsels by smashing them on the head than I do anything else. And I don't mean to do it. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. But hey, look on the bright side. We got some good items. We got the Eugenia. 3 HP is not terrible. You know, it's not great, but it ain't terrible. And we're up to 60 cow. You know, at least close enough. We are in a decent position here, and I believe we're about to be on the jungle. So, you know, that in itself, not a horrible start. It just, you know, it could have been a lot better, but, you know, as is the way of Spelunky, it could always be better. But we're alive, we have money. Screw everything else, and we can get some more here. I think this is worth 10k here, and it's extremely easy to get. As long as you jump when you pick the bloody thing up, 
you ain't gonna freaking die, especially if you have the climbing gloves. And quite often there isn't even anything in the water anyway. You know, occasionally there'll be a piranha and that's about it. Basically, it's free money and who doesn't like free booty? It's the best kind of booty. Hey, we got a secret character. Now hopefully I don't use this idol to smash my dams on the head like I did the last one. I'm kind of worried about these boomerang dudes. Will you please open? Okay. We got a little janitor dudes. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, come up here. Get, no. Leave that freaking luchador alone again. Okay. That worked out perfect. How the hell did he himself with the boomerang? That's such a... No, no, no. Okay, he picked up another one. That was extremely close. Dude, what the crap are you doing? I might have to kill this guy. He's kind of pissing me off. Right. We see our damsel over on the left. And there's a giant frog and all kinds of crap down here. Jesus Christ, Bullonkey, what the hell? Look, it's a freaking party down there. It's an explosive frog. If we can hit that guy, which we did, that should cause some serious shit to go down. Kaboom, bitches! <laughs> God, you deserve that. And we disarm this bastard. And now you're dead at the hands of your own weapon. Suck it. Holy shit! Apparently there's another fireman, and you cannot seem to kill them with anything. God damn it, fireman. Whoa! He just destroyed that dude's corpse, man! Did we hit the frog? No, we didn't. How the hell did that not hit the frog? That is some bullshit. Now we gotta try to explode the piranha plants. Kaboom, son! Thank god, I was worried that that wasn't gonna kill the piranha plant and it was gonna get launched towards me and then eat me. How the hell did I just get hit? That is some great A bullshit, and of course there's a bloody spider web in the way. There is so much shit that we're missing. Oh god damn, we're down to one HP! Yeah, it's not good. But they're all dead, and it's a freaking spike pit of doom. Okay, so we got a boomerang, we got a damsel, and we got a golden bloody idol, and I want all of them. This is gonna take some time, and the ghost might come, because you know I've already wasted a bunch of time, and there's a crate over there I want to get as well, but uh, it is worth it if we can get all of them there without freaking dying. And that, I believe, is a machete. God damn it, game, do you want to give me any more crap to carry? Like, holy shit. Right, we're gonna rope up here. The most important part is our damsel, because you know we're on one HP, 63 grand, it's not amazing, but you know, it's more than what we need, so uh, we can always get some more because it doesn't look like the black market's on this floor, so we really need to pri- That guy is still up there, bouncing around. God damn, so we need to prioritize HP because, you know, 1 HP is not good. Neither is falling on the spike, so please don't. Okay, we're alive. Now don't die to the bloody frog. No, 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 okay. Okay, the freaking ghost is coming. God damn, there's so much stuff I want. There's so much stuff. There's two rubies up there as well. This is shitty. Just go. It sucks that we have to leave that stuff, but, you know, it's kind of a wise decision because, uh, I always certainly would have got myself killed. I would have really liked all of that. Is there a little giant to do coming with us? Yes, he is. How the hell did you survive? I guess he survived because, you know, there was nothing he could really do. <laughs> Don't land in the prom plant's mouth, I swear to God. I know you like your freaking will. Hey, we can sacrifice him. Okay, I really don't want him to eat him. Okay, I really don't want him to get eaten. He just got eaten. God Why? I could have sacrificed you, you inconsiderate dick. And how many freaking enemies, man? There are three piranha plants here. And I'm pretty sure, you, you know, we can sacrifice them because I seem to recall we did that at some point. But none of them are really okay. None of them are really in a position where we can get them. And the black... Okay, that was so close. The black market is on this floor and it seems to be maybe below us. Which really sucks if it is the case because we might end up pissing off that shopkeeper. You know, sell dude down there, whatever the hell he is. I don't see it. No, it's not here. Well, shit, we're getting further away. Where the hell is it? I see a damsel down there. Please don't piss him off. Okay. Really, really close there. Okay, it seems to be here. God damn it, how many freaking bombs? Yeah, there it is. Well, one more bomb we should get our damsel. At least we have 2 HP. That is something. It ain't much, but it's something. And hey, you know, all things considered, 71 grand is not that bad whatsoever. We have 71,000, there's an extra 10k down there by way of the idol, and of course there's a pissed off frog guarding it, so you know, he might kill us, this might be our death, but you know, no risk, no reward. We are going for it. You know, it's one frog, it shouldn't kill us, it might, but it shouldn't. Take your time, there we go. Right, grab the idol, the pissed off bat's gonna come for us as well. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. There we go, we're up to 83,000. Make you yeah, right, grab this money, and you know I'm gonna kill this bat because I don't trust this son of a bitch that you won't kill me. Also, I'm stuck in a bloody wall like Spider-Man. Okay, you know what? We really shouldn't check the rest of the level. I really, really shouldn't do it. But you know, more money is more things, and more things get us more things. And screw those guys. Okay, kind of scared of everything right now, and there's nothing in the pots. I'm kind of deciding whether I should just leave. I feel like I should just leave because frankly, this floor scares the shit out of me. Right, get the hell out of here. We have 84,000, so we got an extra 34 to play with. Not a whole hell of a lot, but you never know, we might be able to buy a jetpack for that, or at least a bunch of bombs. And we also might be able to buy some kisses, which might keep us alive, you never know. 
We stand a chance, goddammits. All I want, all I bloody want is just be able to use the goddamn onk at the right place without the game blowing me up with bloody flying mines. That's all I want. That's all I want. Just let me use it and I'll be a happy, happy fucking man. And this frog is pissing me off. There we go. Now we could use the shotgun to blow everyone's tits off, but it's not really worth it because there ain't that much here. If you know there was a jetpack and a million bloody bombs, then I might do it, but sir. It really is not worth the risk considering the shitty, shitty reward. We can buy most of the good stuff here. You know, I've already got the climbing glass, we've already got the boots. The shotgun would be nice, but it's one of those things, considering you have to sacrifice yourself on, you know, second or third floor of the ice caves, you ain't gonna have it for very long, so it's really not worth, you know, the 25 grand or whatever that it's gonna cost you, so, uh, yeah, screw that nonsense. The pictures me is good, but sometimes it can kinda screw you up because you don't have the arc on your bombs that you might want, so that's not a huge deal for me either. We have 10 bombs? It's not a lot, but it's something. It's something, goddammit. Get out of here, exploding frog, okay? Thank you. And there's our exit. You know what? I'm taking no risk whatsoever. Screw that nonsense. I'm gonna blow it up. I do not want to die. I want to make progress, goddammit. We have been screwed over so many times recently by just little tiny risks that end up screwing me the hell over. So uh, let's not give the game a chance wherever possible. And we have a dead or restless level, which means we can take this, get an extra 15k, which you never know. We might be able to spend it, but most importantly, we can get Ash's shotgun. And get a boomstick, so we didn't even need to buy the bloody thing anyway. For the price of one bomb, that is most definitely worth it. I would like the skull, but you know, it's not worth picking it up at the very beginning of the level, because then you can get chased around by the ghost for the entirety of the bloody thing. Maybe we'll come back and get it, but maybe we won't, because you know, we don't really need it. And da da da! Okay, careful! We are shit! Okay, we have an altar, and our damsel is down there, then the problem is, we pissed off Carly, so normally we get the Kapala for this, but we ain't gonna, so, uh, yeah, that sucks, but you know, if we can get a bunch of bodies or something, we might be able to get the Kapala. God damn it! see, we got nothing, but it says she has forgiven you, so I think we're about back where we were before, so we're gonna need at least one, maybe even two more to get the Kapala, which really, really sucks, but you know, shit happens, man, shit happens, we're all gonna have screw everything else, and there's our shotgun. Please do not fall in a shitty position. It's gonna fall in a shitty position, but you know, not end of the world. We just take our time, wait for the spikes, grab the shotgun. Okay, we have everything we need. We got rid of the damsel, so that's not even an issue. Like I said, could go back for the skull, but really, it ain't worth the risk, is it? Let's be honest here. Kaboom! Get out of here, bats. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. We got a cape. We don't need to deal with this fucker. God damn it. I don't want to stop. Why does the game always pick up the shit that you don't want? Give me that money. Okay, he seems to be stuck. Well, you're lost, buddy. Kaboom! So gone that, you Dracula son of a bitch. It's a shame we already have the cape, because you know we gotta got a free one, but you know, it's the way of Spelunky. You never really know what's gonna happen. Life's like a box of chocolates and so Spelunky. You never know what you're gonna get. What do you want, you motherfucker? Really? You want a shotgun? Come on! Eh, fine, take my shotgun. Why don't you just take my bloody soul as well, you son of a bitch? Well, at least you know we've unlocked the ice cave shortcut now, so we can start unlocking the temple. Like I say, I probably know. Oh, come on, a freaking jet parachute? I want your shitty parachutes, but yeah. Like I say, we can start unlocking the temple now. You know, I'm probably never gonna use them, but I might want to practice or something. And you know, just for completion sake, so screw it. It was worth doing, because how often are we actually going to have a bloody shotgun when we get here? Plus, like I say, we got suicide on the second or third level, assuming the game ever bloody lets me do it. So, you know, we won't be able to keep the damn thing anyway, because when you suicide, you cannot keep whatever you're holding. So, uh, yeah, it was worth doing, even though it sucks for the first, you know, floor or two that we would have had the bloody thing. But hopefully, God damn it, she's going to go, no, 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 damn it, baby. Okay, she's alive. <laughs> Thank you. It sucks for, you know, the meantime that we would have had the thing, but hopefully it wouldn't make a huge difference. You know, generally, it really doesn't. It's handy for these little spaceship sons of bitches, which, generally speaking, have actually been my downfall because they ricochet mines all over the bloody place. But hopefully, hopefully we won't need it. Why do I feel like that statement's going to come back to bite me in the ass? We're going to be in a situation where a shotgun would have saved us and we won't have one. God damn it, I will be so pissed off if that happens. But hey, we got past the first level. If the head is on this level, we, you know, no matter how I die, we'll at least do the next part. Please just be on this level, I don't trust myself not to die here. I ain't going anywhere near those yeti mana sons of bitches because they will freeze me and I will freaking die. So screw that nonsense, we are going to take the long way around. But we got to check around, make sure we are not missing the head because we're going to make sure if it's here, we have to suicide. We can't just go to the exit, we have to make sure it's not here. I think it's always on the second or third level, so you know, it might not be here, but it might. So, uh, yeah, we have to check. Even though it's probably gonna get me killed. And generally speaking, every time I check for the bloody thing, I ain't here, and I die anyway. 
Okay, we've checked pretty much the entire level. I really, really don't think we've missed the hex. You know, it's pretty bloody huge, isn't it, really? Hopefully we haven't. If we haven't, that means when we make it to the next level, assuming I don't die between now and the exit, which it looks like I'm not going to, hopefully, then that means any time we die on the next level, we will do the next part, having sacrificed ourselves with the Ankh, where we were supposed to fucking finally. So screw it, we're getting the hell out of here. Now we gotta check around, make sure we see the head, just in case, because I believe if you jump to your death down, you know, the abyss, you keep your cape or your jetpack, which we, you know, we do have a cape, but I think if you die to a regular enemy, you actually drop your cape and jetpack, so hopefully we can just jump down the hole and actually keep the cape, because you know, it's going to be a huge boom for us on the temple. No, it's, uh, there's the head. Oh, thank you. We cannot possibly screw it up now. We are going to make some freaking progress. So good. It's about goddamn time. Right, we're going to take our damsel to the exit. When you suicide, you go down to 4 HP. Not that we have any more than that anyway, but you know, even if we didn't, the point is the damsel will give us an extra fire, just like we would do normally, so uh, yeah, even though you don't take it to the exit, oh god damn it! It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, don't worry. Even though we're not taking it to the exit that we're actually leaving in, it doesn't matter, you still get the reward, so uh, yeah. Don't leave the exit. Make sure you kill yourself. I would like this money, but again, do we really need it? No, but for the purposes of high score, you know, we may as well grab it, because even if we screw up, what have we really got to lose? But uh, I really, really don't want to use my last rope. Don't really want to use my bombs either, but uh, we kind of have to use something by the looks of things. We might be able to use this bouncy pad to our advantage. I want to get a bloody idol as well. I just want a high score. That's all I want. I want things, goddammit. Give me things. Okay, can we get over here? Maybe if I blow that bit up. That's not going to do it, is it? God damn it! I want the stuff. There's so much stuff up there. There's like no risk. God damn it, rope. I don't want to use you. I refuse. I patently refuse to use the rope. There's a crate up here. So, we're going to blow this up. We just, Oh my god, it's going to fall into the abyss, isn't it? Yep, shit. <laughs> With more bombs. God damn it. Right, we can get the idol at the very least. Get out of here, you spaceship son of a bitch. Right, we're going to take the idol. Then we're going to suicide. But I feel like we should make this all dramatic and shit. So, we're going to dive off of the highest arrow we can very slowly. Goodbye, a cruel world. Is that going to hit me? <laughs> God, that was awesome. I wonder if this one gonna hit me. Come on, buddy. You can do it twice in a row. Yes, you are the greatest little alien man ever. So, yes. We got full down to the abyss. We're gonna die. Then, assuming I haven't done this wrong, and I really don't think I have, we should revive with the Ankh in a new secret area. Please. Yes, you see, now we appear inside the head and the item above us. And that's called the Hedges. And what it does, the white crown of the pharaohs, it grants its wearer access to secret areas. So, yeah. You need two items to get to a secret area in order to, you know, beat the game the hard way, as they call it. The Hedget is one of them. Not gonna reveal the other one, because, you know, I don't want to give spoilers, but, uh, yeah. That is the only way to get the Hedget. That is why the Onk is absolutely essential. There is no other way whatsoever to get inside the head or to get the Hedget any other way. You need the Onk and you need to die with it on that level. And it's a one-use item, so, uh, yeah, it's one of the reasons that it's so bloody hard to do what we've done. But, hey, I already consider this a massive success. We got the Hedget, and it's about a goddamn time if you ask me, like, holy shit, that took a while, but hey, you never know, we might be able to use the bloody thing in this video, it ain't very likely, but it's always possible, we're kind of due a two for one, aren't we, really, we did get screwed over so bad, what do you want, Tunnel Man, you want bombs, don't you, you want three, screw it, we'll give them to him, I don't want to go down to two bombs, because it really, really sucks, but, uh, you know, if we have them, we may as well do it, just in case, because, you know, at least that's another part of progress that we've made in this video, damn it, we are making progress, however small. Don't freaking kill me. Now, most important part is that we get through here and we get through here alive. We gotta look out for Anubis, and I don't even know if we've even seen him so far, because I've made it so very rarely to this place. I might die, quite frankly, before we got to him, but you'll know him when you see him, trust me. This is a really, really shitty situation. I... Uh, we've only got two bombs. Now, I know it's kind of my fault because I just gave some away, but I don't regret that decision. So, we're going to use one to get through here, just to bypass those mummy sons of bitches. Now, do not get hit by those bloody locusts. And there's a Tig Trap. Thank you. Arrow Trap, whatever. Okay, grab the money. There's another Arrow Trap there. Right, I think we can use this thing to set it off. Whatever the hell it is, a locust? There we go. Okay, we are getting there. There's Anubis. See what I mean? You can't really miss the guy. Now, those purple rings of death are purple rings of death for a reason. They will one-shot us. I'm pretty sure no matter how much HP you have, they will kill you. This guy takes two bombs to kill him. Of course, I missed him with the second one. So we gotta try and kill him with rocks and shit. We can do it, man. We can freaking do it. Get out of here, Skunt. And apparently the dog's dead. God damn it, does anything else want to go wrong? God damn it. Right, I'm kind of scared of these freaking purple things. Anubis, they kind of digging me over, dude. All right, go, go, go. This mummy is also scaring the shit out of me. Hit him with a freaking rock. Oh, shit. 
Okay, not good. Right, grab the rock, hit him. There we go, that's some damage. It's gonna take a while. I think we can use the dead bodies. Gotta hope so. Godspeed, damsel. Of course he's stuck in the purple rings of death. Well, shit. Hit him with the bloody rock. No, no, no. Disappear, disappear, disappear. God damn it. You son of a bitch. But hey, we got the hedget. We unlocked the first part of the shortcut. We even unlocked the end of the freaking ice caves as well. And we almost killed Anubis. Progress, god damn it. Progress. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate it. Like, and I'll see you guys next time for more Spelunky.